What's up party people, Android Stud here and I have the Essential Phone and I have downloaded and installed the Android P public beta for the Essential Phone. And I kind of wanted to walk through you through this. For the first time, Google's releasing this to other manufacturers, Essentials One, you have Xiaomi also, Vivo, Oppo, and also OnePlus and Sony on the XZ2. So now I wanted to kind of show you and give you a run through on what Android P is all about and add some new things to it. It's probably their most ambitious update that Google's had with, uh, with their operating system. All right, now, once you download the public beta, Android P, and you want gestures like you saw in the opening video, what you do is you go into settings, system, and gestures, and select that, and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to take you through it. The first is you get that home button there on the bottom. You don't have the the back home and recents three button setup like you usually have on your Android device. Now you have one button there for now. It adds a back to it as we go through the operating system. And I'm going to show you how it works. Now, when you swipe up, you're going to get your recent apps like you would on your before. Now it has this card set up and you can go through these here like I'll select Instagram now on the bottom it has like a home bar so if you slide you can go to to the next one you can keep going down or you can go back and forth to your most recent one so if you go if you slide here it'll go to telegram right now if you slide back it'll go back and forth between the two it gets some it gets some getting used to but once you get the hang of it you'll be able to go back and forth between each app. Now, if you want to go to a different app, not between the two of them, you kind of just slide, keep sliding back, or you can just slide up and then go through them like this. And now if you want to go back to your home screen, you just hit that home button. Now, if you want to go to your app drawer, you kind of, instead of just sliding up once, you kind of slide through and then you get your app drawer. So it gets some use, getting used to it as far as using the gesture buttons, but it is a, it, it's a new way of using your phone. Also, you have your back button there, as you can see there, and you can go like this. The one thing I do like about the, some of the new features is when you go into your, in here, and then if you push the icon there at the top, you could do split screen, you choose split screen, and then you, put, you choose another app, like telegram and then you have your split screen there boom you're ready to go so that's kind of cool and one of the cool things that you can do on android p also is you could swipe up and get rid of these cards you could also use the home button as google assistant still so if you press down on it you get your google assistant still so that's pretty cool now the one thing i do like about the new setup now let's say you rotate your screen right you have that little button here on the, on the top here it'll rotate for you boom you're good to go and then if you're in a, inside an app inside, and then you want to rotate back and the, the way that works you have to have auto rotate off so if you want to rotate your screen you got to make sure you have auto rota rotate off because if you don't then it won't work but that this button basically works as a home button so you won't have to worry about um, you know getting back to your to your screen if you're you know let's say you're in Twitter and you want to get back out you just hit that home button and you're back out If you want to go to something recent you can slide through your cards and you're good to go now the one thing that you can do is I wanted to kind of take you through one more thing Yes, the volume slider. Now, if you hit volume here on your on your phone, you'll see you get a little a new volume volume slider, and it's pretty cool because you could set it to silent, vibrate, and then you know, for it to make a make a sound. So that's kind of cool. It has three selections that you can do: vibrate, silent, and then sound. And then you have this bar, and what that bar does is it sets your it sets your um, your media. So if you're listening to music or anything like that, so now 
when you're at night and you're in bed, you don't want to bug somebody, you kind of just turn that down and then you won't blare somebody out. You also, you can go right into settings from there and set your volume controls there too. So that's a new way of doing the bar. I don't know how you guys feel about that old school. You know, you would do it, it would be at the top. So that's kind of neat little feature that they added to Android P. Now, when you go into the notification shade, as you can see, you have the new, it's got like a new look to it, a new design. It's kind of nice, you know, you could pick your flashlight, do not disturb, all those good things. You can go into your settings here. So you still have that set up. And then you could do, you could do quick replies on your, on your notifications, whatever it may be. If you want to go in here, you can reply like. They're supposed to have um, some new replies on Android P. Doesn't have it on the essential phone, but I do know that it does have it on the Pixel or the Pixel 2. So that, that's kind of nice. Now, when you go in here, you could also, as you go into settings, I want to show you something. When it comes to display, you go to display, advance, and you go into adaptive brightness. That's one of the things that Google's trying to push now is the device is trying to learn, you know, how you use your phone. So if you select adaptive brightness, it's going to technically learn you, basically AI. So it's going to learn your habits and try to emulate when you want your phone bright, when you want it low. So it'll learn you through the day. It's supposed to also do adaptive battery in the future on Android P. So that's cool. You'll be it'll it'll learn your battery life also and try to adjust here and there. One of the other features that uh, Google is trying to push is the do not disturb mode. Now, when you used to hit do not disturb before on your devices, one of the things that it would it would it would do is it would work with a lot of the sounds, but it didn't work with a lot of the you know the the visual stuff so now you can go in here and block visual disturbances like don't turn on screen don't blink light don't wait for notification you know you have all kinds of different features that you didn't have before you know don't pop up notification on screen all kinds of stuff so that's kind of cool that's a new 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 thing that they're they're trying to do so when you hit do not disturb not only will it turn off the sounds, but it'll turn off any kind of lights that come on your phone. So that's kind of cool on Android P. One of the other things they're going to have on Android P is they're going to have the dashboard, Android dashboard. They're also going to have wind down. I talked about that on Talking Tech Tuesday. Also, they're going to have app timers. They're going to have all kinds of stuff. But that's basically the gist of the Android P you know, a lot of a lot of gesture strokes here that you're gonna be doing on on this device. It's you know very similar to the iPhone 10 and Palm Web OS, so it, it's gonna get some getting used to. You know, as far as um, you know, going be between apps and you know going back and forth with this button, it's gonna get some getting used to. I'm so used to the three button setup with back, home, and recents that you know this is just a new way of using your phone so it just depends you know if this is something that you're 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 into but that's basically the rundown on android p you know you had the new auto rotation you got the new gesture base navigation on your device and also you know your notifications are a little set up a little cleaner i will say that the device seems a little bit snappier than it did on on Android Oreo so we'll see you know how wonderful this um, this you know Android 9.0 is gonna be when the official update drops it's gonna be an awesome thing so uh, I just kind of wanted to take it you through it on the on uh, on the essential phone now you could download this install it on your essential phone you have to follow the directions I'll leave a link down in the description if you have an issue um, installing this or you have any questions just hit me up on Twitter hit me up on Instagram Facebook or Google Plus wherever or you can leave a comment down below if you have some questions and I can try to help you out help you install it um, but it's not that hard um, you got to know ADB you got to know how to set things up 
but that's basically it man i mean you got you got the new gestures you got the new notifications you got the new volume slider you got a depth of brightness and you got the uh depth of battery which i haven't found on the essential phone but i know it's on the pixel um so a lot of new things man but it's exciting man android p um on the essential phone pretty cool um, you can do a lot of cool stuff with uh you know the windows and and go back and forth and and that kind of thing so um yeah man check out android p on the essential phone follow me on twitter at android stud google plus facebook and instagram man i'll be around oh the other thing is that the new google news app if you guys want to check that out um they're slowly rolling it out but there's a new google news app that uh looks pretty cool so check that out uh it looks pretty hot you know if you want to get your news and and that kind of thing but um that'll do it for for android p public beta on the essential phone